Hello everyone and welcome to CMB Extra. I want to talk to you all about something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, which is go back and talk through kind of this whole, because now we're, we're at almost the end in a lot of ways with the SpongeBob Balcony Bottom Rehydrated, all that coming out, all the news we're consistently getting about it. But I want to kind of take a step back and look at, in a lot of ways, the timeline of my involvement with the remake and my kind of learning about it, I think in a lot of ways, a lot of people's uh, learning about it and getting involved in it. And that all starts back in around 2016, 2015. So we've been waiting for this for a very long time for um, quite a few of us who've been here the longest. Um, I'm definitely not the person who's been around the longest. Um, I found uh, about it like quite a ways into all of the, the fans asking for it. But at that stage, it was quite different to what it is now. At that stage, it was a lot of people just asking, hey, um, can we please have this game that we really, really, that we really, really liked, uh, can we have it as like a HD version, just like ported to the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4? Like not a physical release, just like a, a slightly upgraded version put on modern consoles. That's what people asked for because people were tired of playing it, you know, on the PS4 and all that type of stuff. Um, the closest we got to that was it being able to be playable on the Xbox 360, but that was that was kind of unrelated. But so I got involved in it around the time of um, so I discovered all this was going on around 2015, early 2015, for this one video from Fred 5107, which is Activision Activision said no to Heavy Iron. So he did a he basically did the biggest and most well known. Uh, videos on this topic which got a whole lot of people into it so it started off with that one then there was a few hero pants rants and then his review which i also found yeah you know, quite good but then it was most of a heavy iron interested in balcony bottom hd remake that's what like created all of this interest for me and then you know the next video which was that the, i really uh, really cared about which was the uh, SpongeBob games playable on Xbox One soon. That's this was our first in a lot of ways rallying point for a lot of the community was uh, Fred asking people to go to this one website on um, the micro Microsoft website and you had to poll or something like that for which ones you wanted type of thing, which nothing ever really came of it. But those were the first times that we really had any rallying towards it. But around this stage, after specifically the um, Activision possibly lost the SpongeBob license. Uh, Fred really slowed down with his covering of it in a lot of ways. Like he, um, it's more or less three years since then that he did another one type of thing because I think he's no longer doing YouTube at the moment. Um, so that was the point where I really got involved on a creative level because it felt like I, I, cause I really cared about this at this stage and I really was interested in it. And at that stage, no one else was talking about it other than Fred and I was really sad about that so I was like okay well if no one else is going to talk about it, then I might as well give it a go um which is where uh the CMB Corp YouTube channel stepped in so if any of you don't know this is my main YouTube channel this is the YouTube channel I created about what, five years ago nearly six years ago type of thing um with my friend BJ uh it's the channel that I put all of my effort and time into uh we haven't uploaded much recently because I've been working on bigger projects for it, um, some short film stuff. But yeah, check it out if, you, if you're interested. But um, all of this started way, way, way back here. Back further, back further. Bam, three years ago, 2016. Has Heavy Iron finally got the rights? So, uh, oh, wait, no. Just before that one. This one, goodbye Activision, hello Heavy Iron. This one is still like the most popular video on the channel and it's not even the stuff I cover on the channel anymore. So yeah, August 2016, so a little while ago. And yeah, so this is like a three minute video. Back when three minute videos were okay on YouTube, where YouTube actually pushed three minute videos, obviously here. <laughs> um, you can also tell there was very little competition at this stage because this video got quite a few views um, for for my standards. It, got, it did pretty damn well. Um, that's because there was very little competition at this stage. So yeah, it's just a, a pretty simple video of me talking about um, all this type of stuff. I did a lot of work on the graphics because this was before I really learned Premiere Pro. So I was doing all this by hand type of thing. And it took me ages, but 
put a lot of effort into it because I wanted to make a good first impression. But if you also just go into the, the comments, you can tell the different mood that a lot of this was. It was all just about getting a a, a re-release in a lot of ways for modern consoles. Not, not a remaster, in like, not like a remake or this massive overdoing of the game. People mostly just wanted to be able to play it, you know, on their couch how they want type of thing so like the comments here uh killing the franchise reminds me of a certain purple dragon that activision screwed over so yeah um i've already mentally pre um ordered the bfb remake i wonder if they actually have because there's quite a few replies to that um <laughs> uh, three months so have you actually pre-ordered the hit now fam uh dear um so yeah it's all those types of comments down here and these were this was the first time on this channel we ever actually got comments about stuff that I really cared about and was really interested in and wanted to talk about and that's that is what spurred me on to actually continue and make more videos of it and all that type of stuff is because people actually cared which never happened before um so so yeah so there was that thing and then a few uh, I think a few months later I made the next video has heavy iron finally got the rights which this intro took forever to make but yeah um <laughs> It was, it, yeah, again, that was just a pretty good video that I was pretty happy with. Um, and it didn't do as well, but it was, yeah, again, the comments that just made me really want to do it. And, like, we have, uh, there are people in these comments who are still, like, who have, you know, on the main channel now, on um, the CMB Extra channel, who follow that and talk about and leave comments actively on that. There are people on, in these comments that are still following the channel now. Like, I still get quite a few comments from um, Lateral's Gaming channel every now and again. Um, and quite a few others. I'm sure there are probably more that just didn't comment then that saw this. And that that's one of like the best parts about doing this continued covering of the game. And it's going to be kind of sad when the game actually comes out and I do my review and then it's all kind of over at that stage. But yeah, so then I did this next video um, in late later 2016. And then I didn't cover very much. I think I, I did another video which I then deleted because I got like some wrong information so there was another one in between this and this one Sonja Battle for Guinea Bottom is getting remastered THQ Nordic and Nickelodeon working together so this was around the time that we actually found out about THQ Nordic I think I did the video that I deleted was about THQ Nordic coming back type of thing um, but I got some information wrong so I deleted it so this is the video talking about uh, basically that list that came out and all that type of stuff um and yeah, it did, yeah, again, surprisingly well. So this was in 2018. So there was another video I put up in 2017 that covered that. But the, at this stage, there was just no information. We went, like, literally years without any type of hints or anything like that. Um, and yeah, and this is where we get into more of the comments that, of people who are now quite literally still around on the channel, like Shadow Fry, get a bit from him type of stuff. Uh, it's... That's one, of the, yeah, again, that is just one of the best parts of it. Um, and, yeah, so, not, um, at that stage we didn't, this was, the, like, the first official bit of news, bit of, like, anything we got. And this is when there was quite a few other people starting to do videos on it, um, which is probably a reason why I didn't do as well as some of the other ones did, um, specifically the first one, but it was because there were other channels who were doing stuff, yeah, again, on American time, they could get stuff out, you know, more accurately to when the the news dropped and there were people who could you know do stuff quicker than me and better than me in a lot of ways and so that was one of the things that pushed me to wanting to do stuff a bit more focused and stuff a bit better um and put more effort into to videos type of stuff but yeah so this is when they officially properly announced it and this is when we moved on to spongebob not at e3 so this was in 2018 when they announced that they weren't going to be showing anything at e3 they weren't even going to e3 i believe um i can't quite remember i'd have to watch through the the whole two minute and 40 video um but yeah so this was this was um basically the last bit of news we got before that really long year of nothing <laughs> more or less we got nothing for a year and that's when i started getting people commenting saying are they gonna t have they cancelled it is it over type of thing i remember telling them like no it's not, it hasn't been cancelled type of thing. So then if we jump over to the uh, CMB Extra YouTube channel, we can get into the, some of the more recent news of what's happened in the past year. For the very beginning, I was mostly 90% focused on Nickelodeon kart races. 
Uh, that was my main thing I focused on, and then a little bit on Persona, because I was on a bit of a Persona high. Um, but we really got into proper uh, news on uh, Battlefield Geek Bottom Remastered um, cancellation. So I've added the old here, because I got so many comments as soon as the game got announced that this video is incorrect type of thing, yet no one actually watched the video, where all the video was was me talking about how all the rumors of it being cancelled were wrong and just silly and people should be patient yeah everyone thought i was calling it that so yep um need to be better with my titles maybe <laughs> um but yeah so that was you know one of the last videos that i got to do of it and then we had the very fun time which was me putting all the effort into making thq nordic at e3 will we get a nickelodeon announcement type of thing so much effort into this video 10 minutes long and then the next like Five hours later, 12 hours later, they announced the damn game. You have any idea how many comments I got in this video being like... <laughs> oh, Chester, uh, I think you should probably check Twitter type of thing. I got so many comments like that, I was just like, ah, I don't know. So many hours of work. So many hours, at least I got to put it out before it happened. Um, but yeah, and so that's... From there, it's all kind of... I'm sure you all know, you know, what's happened since then with my consistent videos kind of recapping stuff. So, yeah, those are... That's kind of what's happened over the the past... Well, basically since 2016. That's been my involvement with this game uh, from it being little more than just a bunch of fans begging for a possible re-release type of thing to now a full, complete remake of the game a complete remaster built from the ground up it's pretty incredible considering where we came from which was a handful of fans and a few speedrunners asking for the game and a few minor like quite small in, in like comparison like youtubers like fred small like youtubers in a lot of ways asking for this game and it's just it's blown up and now if you if you like just going on to uh, Googling SpongeBob Balcony Bottom Rehydrated, just the amount of different channels that have talked about and covered it. Like, you've got Riders, you've got so many different channels, and you've got Super Mario T, Safari Geek, uh, Loopy Long Plays, uh, Bassub. You've got all these different creators talking about it, and yet Shift, all these people, and it's completely different to where it was. Literally, it was Fred, and then when Fred quit, I gave it a go and there was maybe like one or two others who occasionally once a year talked about it and like it's completely changed and completely blown up. Yeah again it's tiny in comparison to so many other communities but it's so much bigger than it was and I'm, I'm really quite excited to see where it goes. But yeah so that's everything I want to talk about. I hope uh, you all have a very happy New Year's time of year. Um, and I'll see you all in 2020. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.